Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Um, I know that I've been MIA for a few days. Um, I was, like I said on the previous video, uh, working on some emotional issues I was going through. And I have been through a few things through other days um, that I haven't been blogging, but I did record a few things and I am going to give you guys a recap of what's been happening. Um, as far as my aligners go, I already put uh, liner number three and they hurt a lot. All right, my days, honestly, guys, like I have been just dazed out completely. I've been um, watching TV, laying in my bed. I have a pain um, on my right leg for some reason, which I'm not sure what it is. Um, but if it doesn't go away within the week or so, I will have to go see a doctor about it and see why I have the little, it's like, it's not even a pain. It's like a sore, you know, like when you do exercise. So I don't know if maybe I pull a muscle or something or I don't know, but I'll figure that out. Anyways, guys, so a lot of exciting things coming. I will, um, show you guys a few things that I have in mind. Uh, coming well actually things are coming and actually I want to show you how to travel light um, because I not an expert but I have done it and it's pretty fun because what's better than traveling with a book bag you know <laughs> like that's it like that's all like for as long as it's only like a few days because if you're traveling for a longer period of time then at that point you need luggage but um travel light and i'm a woman so i will have like multiple outfits for three days but i will have enough to get me through and also like i also plan to um buy a dress where i'm going because we might go to the clubs and i want to look pretty and i want to like look good and i feel like in my town here there's not a lot of options as far as clothes goes for like going out so maybe I can find something really nice there, really fancy, really cute, you know, sexy. And uh, I don't know, maybe I can I can do that and uh, pack it in my bag and bring it home with me and have something new. <laughs> That's what I pretty much do when I go to a different area. Like if I go, I go a lot to Florida because my I have family there. But like if I go to Florida, I'll probably buy like a few dresses or a few um, shirts, you know, that you don't see around here, but they're really cute. And, you know, it's it's something new. It's something nice that not a lot of people are going to have because most of the places that you go here, like a lot of people go to. So um, most people kind of like you kind of <laughs> bump into someone that has the same outfit as you at a party. So it's like okay that's awkward <laughs> anyways so i'll be showing you that um not in this video that will be probably the next video also um a few other things happened uh, i had to take my son to the emergency room my son was born with a syndrome called beckwith Woodman syndrome and it's something that you outgrow and he has outgrow it but there's still things that can get complicated in his future like as you mature um you know things that me and you are at risk normal people um he can be at risk at a higher percentage and even though he has outgrow a lot of it now um he still has a chance to develop those things like any other human being could um but he has a higher risk of that so i will be talking about that i actually will do a nice documentary about it because i think a lot of people need to be educated about what it is because a lot of people that have this syndrome don't know the have it and you know it's important for you to know what to look for it and if you guys can relate to someone that has those things going on then you can find out why they actually are going through that so anyway so um let's get to the video today is wednesday and it is time for me to change my aligner i am feeling much much better um I haven't taken my aligners out, which I'm going to do right now. And I am going to put it in a cup so that I can wash them and put them away. They're really hard to take out now. I don't know why. I don't know if they were ready or not ready to come out. But 
All right, so this one is the liner number three. And it says that I need to wear it for two weeks, 22 hours a day. I'm scared, guys. <laughs> this is the most scary thing ever. This is going to be tight. But I don't see much of a difference. Like, it's still crooked there, see? So, maybe it's not going to be painful. Listen. Ah. Ah. Ow. Ow. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is so much, much, much more painful. It's not, it wasn't in all the way. Uh, it still isn't in all the way, but it's painful. I'm gonna wait. I'm scared. <laughs> I was so scared because you know what? With the um, aligner number two, with the aligner number two, I actually had pain in this teeth still. So I'm scared of what this is going to do to me. Again, the sensation like this part right here is gonna cut me, so I'm gonna open it a little bit. I got the other one. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> This is so painful. I don't know how people change it with a spray face. Like I've seen videos. I can't even talk right now. I've seen videos of people doing it and and I'm like how they are not <laughs> How are they still talking? <laughs> I don't know, like once it's in, it's ah, it's not oh my god. I can't even buy on the net. That's how bad it is right now. That is it with the aligners. Mm. I'm gonna eat that mint. It's so good. <laughs> the only pleasure in life I have. All right, I'm gonna clean my old aligners. And what I do is that I put it on the old bags and I put it back in the box. So that way I can keep track of how many I have done. But I know that they're the wrong aligners. Like it's usually a step behind. So this one says number two. I know it's number, I mean, this one says number three. I know it's number two. So two weeks and i'll switch to my next aligner i will try to be a good girl with this one because with the second aligner i actually went a few days that i didn't wear for the full 22 hours i wear for less and that's never good so i'm gonna try to be a good girl and keep it on as much as i can and not drink because i drink wine and that's the reason why i had um the aligners off because it was red wine and I didn't want to stain it so it took me like an hour to drink it so a few drinks with the family surprise <laughs> happy birthday mira Miki mira los trolls ahí como tú eres vicioso
Ya se lo dejé bien. Vicioso, vicioso. Ya no me dejan. Le me que el tema. Ya, ah, ellas son las viciosas ahora. Uno, dos, girls. Hello. No, don't put them in the photo, please. Esa, esa, video, and we sing happy birthday to your dad. Okay, y'all. So I am back. Not better than ever, <laughs> but I am back. Um, actually, I gotta put my liners on. Let me grab them real quick. I just went to Herbalife and I had um my meal. It's been a few days that I don't go there. That I don't go to Herbalife. I don't go out. I don't see anyone or talk to anyone over the phone. I've been on a very anxious, depressed mood lately. I get like that sometimes. And it's hard. It's really, really hard because, you know, the least that I want is to disappoint my family or my friends or anybody in my life that I care about. So when I get depressed, I kind of disappear <laughs> if you may say so i stay to myself i basically just lay in bed watch tv do nothing eat snacks <laughs> which is why they gain weight a lot of times i take care of my kids yeah i make sure that some areas of my life are covered because I know that when I come out of it, it's gonna be worse if I don't. But I do stop um, bugging my kids about cleaning and putting garbage away and uh, taking care of things in the house. You know, the one thing that I wish my friends and my family understood is that this is a moment that I go through and that I disconnect. And I need that time. And the least that I want is people to make me feel guilty about not being there with them, about not visiting them or answering their texts or answering their phone. It makes me feel worse. <laughs> it makes me feel guilty and worse. And I feel like I'm disappointing people. And I hate that. <sighs> I do. This is not the easiest thing to come forward with and say in public or say to people. But I think it's important for people to know that um, this is a serious thing. No matter if you're on medication treatments, you see a psychologist, you have moments like this where you just don't want to exist, where you want to be away from everybody, you know. A lot of bad thoughts go through my head and I try to control it because, you know, I do love my life. <laughs> I love my kids and I love my family and I love my friends and I love everyone in my life. So I push forward and I push through it and I do the best that I can to get through my emotions, get through the way that I feel. It takes a lot of courage and a lot of strength in a lot of and i give props to all those people that suffer anxiety and depression because it's not an easy thing to go through it's not an easy thing to handle and the only thing that i can say is that you hold on to those things that matter the most to you you hold on to your friends you hold on to your family you hold on to 
all the blessings that God give you. I know that there's a reason for me to be here and I push through and I let her flow and I let it go. And it takes me a day or two or a week. <laughs> this time is taking me a very long time. Those feelings are subsiding. They're getting better. I feel more energized today. I'm actually doing laundry. I'm going to fold those clothes that I have there. I'm getting the house clean. I'm, you know, going back to me. To needy, tidy. <laughs> Let me get this together. Me. Be on top of my kids. Me. Be connected to my family. Me. Be connected to my friends. Me. And I am back. So. Slowly but surely. <laughs> I'm here and I'll make it through and I'll keep going and I'll keep doing this and I'll keep going with my life. So I am here walking towards Target. Um, I'm here with my baby, with my baby. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I love you so much. So yeah, we're gonna, um, so we're gonna go to Target right now. And okay. then after that, we're gonna go get McDonald's for yeah. Dante. I don't know what Andrew wants. Um, we're getting but candy today we're getting individual stuff. So I'm getting sushi, he's getting McDonald's, I'm and getting I don't know what Andrew bowl. wants. And he's getting candy, so he's sad. Yeah, he's yeah, he's getting candy here. Of course. I'll, I'll drop kick you. I'll drop kick you. you drop kick me? Yeah. Ugh. All right, so yeah, anyway, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get. Um, well, over here at Target, we're gonna get some uh, rechargeable batteries. For me and Andrew, mm -hmm. I look Asian. Oh my God, you look Asian. Yeah. Yes, you do. Just to do. All right, you guys, and that is all for today. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.